Hello everybody, welcome back. Jordan here. Today we're going to be checking out the LIGO Orchid from the 2022 Botanical Collection. This 18 plus set comes with 608 pieces and is set number 10311. The box is absolutely gorgeous. It has some beautiful images on both the front and back and the Orchid stands 39 centimeters or 15.4 inches tall. Within the box we have one instruction manual, four building stages, and two large Technic axles. This set here uses some incredible building techniques and some insane part usages. I love the different styles of parts that are used to create the pot, leaves, stems, and flowers. Starting with the pot, oh my gosh, it was simply incredible how this was designed here, using all sorts of different elements, tiles, bricks, plates, and of course, a lot of Technic. After you create the foundation for the pot, you're able to attach these triangular shaped smooth finished sand blue elements in a perfect circle going around the base of the plant. And actually inside the instruction manual there's a tidbit of information about this building technique. It reads, the core of the pot is a modified version of the core used in the large tower of the Lego Hogwarts castle set. Professor Sprout would be tickled with this. Once you're done building your pot you're going to start building your three stems. You can see there's one branching off to the left there and then two going all the way up and they actually branch out into a few more stems as well. Now these stems are at unique angles and they're built using Technic elements. It even reads in the instruction manual, the orchid stems are built from Lego Technic elements, making your orchid fully customizable to bloom all year round. You'll also see those large Technic axles that are used to support the flower. And that's actually authentic design of orchids. Very commonly they will be supported by sticks that are represented by those Technic axles there. Once you're done building your stems, you're gonna build some of these large leaf elements here that are built using some of the larger curved slopes. Also, we've got a couple vines coming out of the base of the pot there. Once you have your stems, leaves, and pot constructed, it's time to start constructing your orchid flowers. And they are simply gorgeous and they use some very interesting parts. Take a look at the newer petal piece right there. In the center, we have a frog, also that Technic element, and those lighter pink elements coming out of the bottom there. It even reads in the instruction manual, the center of the blossoms feature Lego frog elements, an homage to the pink frogs used as blossoms in the Lego bonsai tree set. And I love the use of this part right here. What is that, you may ask? That is actually a shield element. So there's a couple different pieces that go into creating the petals, and I really love the use of the shield element. That is so cool. It says the minifig shields originally developed for the 1995 Lego castle line make up the sepals of the orchid. Also you'll notice one other piece that represents flowers that are just about to bloom and this is actually a demogorgon head. It actually uses multiple of these to create the blooming flowers and you get the demogorgon head and there's actually a white headpiece within as well. So I think it's funny that we have Demogorgon heads being used and shields being used and also frogs being used to create these awesome orchids. Now the interesting thing about the orchids is you build all of them like so and you can actually position them on the stems in different positions. And you see these one by one circular dark green tiles? Well they're actually covering up some of the Technic components used on the stems and of course you can put your orchids anywhere you want on this plant. You can see there's actually some uh, little pink ice cream elements there and you could swap them up and you could move your demogorgon head or you could move your fully bloomed flowers wherever you want on this awesome Lego set. So I love the fact that there is the opportunity for you to customize your orchid and of course that's for the whole flower as well. You can essentially customize which way your stems go. You can make different flowers using your imagination and using all of the parts that come in this set. So I think that is just a really cool opportunity. And once you get all of your different flowers and everything made, there's one more detail. You can actually have to fill your pot. And the way you fill your pot is you use various brown elements, such as some of these that you might recognize as icicles or snow, uh, some circular tiles, they come in different shades of brown, and then you take these pieces and you throw them in loose in the bottom of the pot. And you know what? That's actually very accurate. Orchids are commonly filled with mulch. So that's a nice accurate design element for this incredible botanical set here from the 2022 collection.
So there we have the Lego Orchid. I honestly think that this is my favorite from the botanical collection. Well, it gives maybe it's my favorite potted plant. I like it more than the bonsai tree, and I also like it more than the birds of paradise. I think this potted plant looks beautiful. However, I really do like the flower bouquet as well. You know, but I love the part usage. I love the demigorgon heads. I love the shields. I love the way that that pot was created to get that perfect circle and that sand blue color it is absolutely amazing. Let us know what you think by commenting below. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff coming out here in the near future. And thank you so much for popping on by. Farewell.